friends so today we can discuss this question from ad coder education dp contest problem 2 frog 2 so this is the continuation of the first problem frog 1 so if you haven't seen that video go watch that out first so i will explain this question based on that question only so if you understand that question this question will be just a simple two liner change in the first code so if you understand that code this question will not be very difficult to you so in that code or in that question they have told that the frog can jump from i to i plus 1 or i plus 2 a stone but in this question they are said or explain that if the frog is currently on the stone i it can jump i plus 1 i plus 2 till i plus k and the question remains same so and k is up to 100 so k is like small so uh if you are on the first stone uh like i think so they have given so now they have inputted k so now in that original problem this is i think something changed but if you have k equal to 3 now you can jump at this point you can do these jumps you can do only this jump or you can do a jump of size 2 okay so you have to find out the least possible cost to jump so what you can easily do is if you like if you understand the previous logic you can make a dp like array initialize everything with infinity and make the first one zero because if there is only one stone then the cost is zero because you are actually on the last one if there are two stones and like k is equal to 3 though you can jump most steps but because the final step or final stone is only one step away you can directly jump on it so that the cost is actually initially everything is infinity and the cost will be this plus the height difference between these two stones which is 20 so 0 plus 20 is 20 which is less than infinity so you update this value now reaching this stone can be you can directly jump on this stone or you can go first on 30 and then 40 and you have calculated the minimum cost to reach 30 so you can directly jump which is 0 plus the difference between these two which is 30 so it can be 30 or you can jump here which is which at a cost of 20 and you can jump here also which is at a cost of 10 so 10 plus 20 equal to 30 and the minimum of them is 30 now you can jump directly here because the size is 3 you can jump at most of size of 3 and uh, you can directly jump here or you can jump here 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 but reaching this point you know that the, that the minimum is 30 like through this route so why choose another route because you want the minimum cost now so that's why you can find out you can go three back steps or what you can what you can do is at the start while filling jump k steps and fill all the entries which are inside the array inside our bound and you can jump at those point so to make it clear if you are at the first point you can jump on the second point third point third stone at first stone second stone third stone right of the first first stone but if k equal to 4 you cannot jump more stones because you can go out of bound of the array and you update the value of these which is initial infinity then you come on the second stone and you can jump here here and if the cost of jumping from this stone to this stone is less than jumping from this stone directly to this stone then you can update this value so i have written this previous code and the code remains same the only difference we have to do is that initially we, have, we are jumping from i plus 1 to less than equal to i plus 2 but now we have to jump till k and we have to also input k value 
So k and root k y. So let's run this for one of the test cases. The answer is 30 for this. So now let's paste the test case and it's giving 30. So let's submit this. So it's accepted. I hope you understand the code and the logic. And if you don't, you go back and see the first video of Prog 1 and then the question will be more clear. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts or queries, please mention it in the comment box. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.